Okie dokie. I'll mix most of my stuff in here. As you can see, this is where it all happens. I got my little tube paints, some of my Grumbacher stuff here. Uh, gesso, gesso, gesso. More of my Grumbacher paints in there. Pens, series of brushes in both of these uh, coffee mugs. Brushes that I use for a lot of the paintings I do on uh, my Facebook Live. More brushes in here with the tape, two inch tape, one inch tape, um, half inch tape, whatever. More uh, little acrylic tube paints, not as thick to runny stuff there. Uh, one of my brush uh, uh, beater bowls there. Another one with the rack inside of that one. You know, just a giant uh, oil beater rack inside this uh, garbage pail. Okie dokie, obviously you know what this is. You see enough of this in my videos. All right, it's a Bob Ross uh, painting board. All right, but I have a uh, Avery. Um, I forgot what you call these boards here. You know, you put giant pieces of paper on. That's what that is. Just turned to the side. Okay, and if I turn it around, here's the can. Here's the uh, the little mechanism that I put the phone camera on, and you take a clear shot at this guy. Does that look familiar? This is what I use it on, but I got a, a camera tripod. The camera is actually on here. When I do my YouTube videos, I use this thing here. Okay. And that's what I, that's what I use, pretty much the setup. Over here, um, the lavalier microphone that I have hooked to my collar is just hanging up there by the Hulk fist. All right. But basically, that's how, this is my little area, my little work area. This is where I do most of my stuff. Here's my tablet that I, uh, see your uh, notifications on it and all that all right everything works you know it comes on and all that good stuff see all right so what I'll do is uh, I'll get some paint put a little bit of paint in here and uh, I'll uh, show you how I mix it up the shampoo is actually in this bottle here if you can see I'll zoom it in see there's the VO5 right there but I'll show you how to do all all that or how I go about it and we'll, you, we'll continue on this box is an old box that um it's almost it's off the tablet box <laughs> believe it or not <coughs> and um, I just cut out pieces of paper I put it in here I got another one down in there I'll just put the paint in that when I'm done with it pick it up throw that in the garbage keep the box all right but that's what I use um, one of my many little templates I use um, I got actual painting templates it's behind those rack of brushes that's the little white one over there all right um, I use the coffee lids for my little painting utensils and if I bring you over here all the way around I have a couple more all right my color wheel here's all the all the tutorial paintings yep here they all are some of the ones I give away and stuff, they're all just they just sit there. Alright. Uh okay. Enough of the quick tour. When I come back, I'll put some paint in there. I'll dab some uh shampoo in there and I'll show you how I do some of this stuff. So I will return. Alright, I'm back again. As you can see, I have uh, the VO5 shampoo here. No water mixed in it, it's just VO5. Alright. I have phthalo green, ultramarine blue, cad red medium, titanium white, and cad yellow medium. Alright, I don't use very many colors, kind of a light color palette. Follow me? But that's basically what I use. Okay, dokie, let me position my hand right for this, this phone. <coughs> Okay, that's basically uh, what I use. Alright, now, I can go about this a couple of different ways. When I approach Mr. Canvas over here, I can either put the shampoo on the canvas, on the uh, paper or canvas, alright, and then use the paint right from the tube itself and just mix it right here, around in here somewhere, and then apply it here. Or, 
I cannot put anything on here and just dip the paint into the shampoo and then apply it to the paper or do both. All depends on how I uh, how I feel at that time. Now the ratio of water to shampoo will be uh, like three to one. Three parts shampoo, one part uh, water. Just to loosen up the uh, shampoo because the shampoo is a little thick, a little viscous. Obviously it is shampoo. But it's water soluble. All you do is just um, you're just loosening up the shampoo because the shampoo will just loosen up the paint. Alright, now I use Grumbacher, high end, higher end uh, paint. I really like this paint because of the thickness of it. It reminds me of the oil paint that I used to use. And um, I'm just I'm just a little more comfortable with using that than using you know the tube stuff which is kind of runny and you really don't need much of the shampoo or whatever for it's already uh, kind of liquefied and runny um, I might use a dab or two of it uh, to thin it out even more depending on what kind of effects that I'm using for um, the painting or whatever project that I'm going to do okay so let's uh, get on to it and let me show you I guess a little example of what I'm talking about okay with my little handheld phone let's uh let's say if I want a little uh, dip into a little bit of green alright just put it right there and maybe I want to lighten up that green just a little bit I'll just use the tiny bit of white I'll just put it in there to get what I get what I um, I'm looking for okay I will dip the brush only a little bit into the shampoo itself it will loosen up the paint okay that's all it's doing it's making as you can see it's making the paint just loosening up the paint you can see that okay it's not as thick and it flows a lot better and it prolongs the drying time a little bit so I can just come up here on Mr. Scrapboard here and do a little bit of whatever say if I want a, a leaf and just you know play around I'm not doing anything in particular just just an example I have one come down here thick and then then have it curl away like so nothing um any different to what I would normally do I'll just dip in more into the shampoo here okay like I say it breaks up the paint okay as you can see and let's maybe add a little yellow in there in the corner like so dip a little bit more in there add a little more yellow and maybe white on the corner right on the corner where the uh, yellow is so it gives me kind of a two-tone deal come back up here let's go on the other side let's come drooping it down oh something like that spread it out like so kind of a one stroke leaf deal okay uh, let's have one lingering a little around here come down and have it curved the other way like so you see that effect that's just with the shampoo and the um, and the paint no water nothing no medium is added to this paper at all okay let's go back down again <coughs> maybe I want a deeper green add a little blue add a little bit of this green together Okay, you see it's kind of viscous, a little thick. Let's get a little more of the shampoo, mix it right in there. It loosens it right up. Now, you're going to have to experiment with yourself um, to see how much of this shampoo you want to mix in with it because you can get it to where it, it gets uh, very runny. All right. That it will do. So just be a little careful. Okay, got it on both sides of the brush. Let's go back up here. Now you have a deeper, darker green. So let's have something uh, draped down past this guy here. Get a little thick, have it draped down, curl that way. Something like that. You can see the color shift. Come down, have it drip, uh, come down like that to a point. You see the differences in color? It's kind of what you're looking for. Okay. I got some further up on the furrow 
So let's press that in there real good and come on down like that. Okay. Now, like I said, you have to be a little careful because if you have it a little too too runny, it will just pour and drip down. Like I said, there's no medium on here. All right. So let's do something. Let's put this down here for one second. Let me get my trusty. Here we go. Let's get the trusty one inch here. Let me wet it up. Loosen up the bristles a bit. Let's dip right into the shampoo here. Let's bring it on up here. Let's um, maybe right around here. Let's just saturate that with a little bit of the shampoo. Yes, we got green in it, but that's okay. Let's bring it back up here. Let's saturate that a little more. Nothing but shampoo, guys. All right, let's set that down for one second. Let's go back into um, this green. Now, got shampoo all on there. Not but the shampoo. So let's get a leaf going. Let's have it come down, spread like so, come down to a point. That shampoo on the paper. All right, not necessarily on the brush. Okay, as you see, it does loosen up. Okay. And that's the effect that you're getting right now. Let's have one a little bit longer coming through. That's the effect of the shampoo being on the paper. Let's go right straight from the tube. Let's come back up here. Go a little bit here. A little bit past. Press. Come on in. Press. Come on in. That's the dark side. So let's lighten it up a little bit. Go, let's see, add a little white, a little bit of yellow. Let's put that in there. Nothing. Um, that's all I'm doing. Tapping it in, get the color that I want. Okay. There's plenty on the furrow there. But I'm concentrating on having the paint more or less on the tip. And let's brighten that up right around here. It won't show as much because I got white paper. But that's okay. All right. That's something like that. But that is with the uh, the um, shampoo on the uh, paper itself. Now it's already dry. Okay, it's already dry on the paper. So let's play around. I didn't got it started now, so I might well continue on. Dip it, lift the, the bristle into the shampoo, loosen up the paint. Just like that. All right, let's add a little red in there just because I can. Deepen that up a little bit. Let's go back up here. Let's play around that red right here. Just adding a little more color to it. Like that. And maybe they'll have one trailing. Sorry about that. Trailing out. Thick. Have it thin right there. And we'll put one right in there. All right now I'm just doing an example. That's all this is. All right now we got a reddish one. Let's go back down. Put a little green in it. Straight from the tube. The tiniest bit of shampoo. Mix it up a little bit. Come on back up. Uh, that was the shadow side. So we press. Give it a little stroke. Press. Give it a little stroke. Press. A little stroke. And just leave it be. Okay? I'm gonna put a little vein in there. Something like that. If you want it to come to more of a point, come like that. Alright. Let's wash this off real quick. Or rinse it off. A lot of extra paint. I got a little towel down below here. Just wipe it off. Okay. Let's uh, brighten that up a little bit. A little more yellow and white on one side and let's come back over here uh, let's play around the top something like so all right brighten it up a little bit on that side just like that so these are just little examples let's dip it a little bit into the shampoo let's just mix everything mash it all 
like that. What I'm going to do is one of the push stroke leaves, take your brush, wiggle, do one of those numbers, wiggle, like that. I'm going to come up here, just add one of those, um, maybe up here. Let's have it come down, swirl around in front of this guy, and curl that way. And then we're just going to take that mash of paint, press down, wiggle, come back up, give it a little point. It looks like that. Let's do it again. Push, wiggle, push, wiggle. Let's overlap one. Push, come down, wiggle. Wherever you aim your brush, that's where you press and you push down. All right. As you get faster with them, just flipping the brush over. Okay. Now let's come back down here. Let's play around with some blue. Just a touch of blue. Maybe a little touch of yellow in there. Let's come back. And we'll just change the color a little bit. And you get all sorts of interesting patterns and shapes. The faster you get, do it. Okay, let's go back down. Let's play around with the shampoo. Let's thin that up a little bit. All that shampoo does is just loosen up the paint, break it up a little bit, add a little blue, come back, and when you continue on. And make sure you have a little peak there. Okay. Keep practicing that. I gotta concentrate on keeping this phone level where you can see it. And we'll continue on. Let's overlap one around here. Put one more there. And let's put a final one right down there. There you go. Come back up. Have a little point. So let's pull back. Now, you've got yourself a little thing happening over here. All right. That's pretty much how I mix my, my, uh, my paints. If you want anything a little brighter, add either white or yellow okay so now we got a little bit of yellow in there we'll add diff we'll see the difference I'll put a little dab of shampoo in there this loosens up the paint let's come back up let's put uh let's put one trailing red around in here have it come out down and up now that's drying up a little bit so I'm gonna add a little more shampoo into this loosen it up there we go. Now you can tell about the feel. Okay. And I don't have nothing on the surface. So you can see on the edges how it breaks up a little bit. So we're going to do it again. Here. Spread. There. Something like that. Now I made it lighter. A little more translucent. But it didn't lose the color value. They just made it translucent where you can see through it. Okay. Now we're going to add, you can do it again, but with white. Same color. But now instead of yellow, just white. But the white that I'm using is an opaque, um, uh, titanium white. It's opaque. That means it covers up stuff like you see. Here's a perfect example of what it does. All right. Let's go up. Let's do another one. Come right through the batch of leaves. Spread out. It goes upward. Okay, I like to work in threes. Let's have one go the other way, like so. Now you got some you same color using yellow, same color using white. But as you see, white opaque, and it will cover. All right. So the more of it you use, it turns from uh, a paint to a glaze. All right. So let's use more of it of the shampoo, but using the white. Now it's going to turn into a glaze. All right, so let's have one come over here. You'll see. Let's have one come over here. It's going to be more of a glaze, so you'll see more of the plant. See? Now I have it come down again over on this side. You still see the plant, but now you see what's behind it. So it gives you that translucency. That's more shampoo than paint. That's what you get. That's using the opaque titanium white. Alright. 
So it's more transparent than what you see here. Follow me? All right. And it's all dry. Okay. So if you want to highlight or have anything stick on even more, I got a black background, so the highlights won't really uh, show as effectively if I darken um, that area. Okay. But that's basically how I use this stuff. And when I go to um, use, um, let me try, I'm going to show you something else. Uh, let's try it with blue. Just a tip. Just make an example real quick. Let's put something right around in here somewhere. Something like that. Just a little sketch of whatever. Alright. Now, as you see, a plant of some sort is going to be over there. Alright. Let's add a little red with that blue. Get a nice and deep color. A little more red. A little more blue. That's just my notification going off on this phone. Uh, maybe a touch of green in there. Throw it all in there. Now, I'm going to take some of this shampoo. Put it right in there. Loosen that paint right up. It will not lose its impact or color. But it will make it flow a lot better. Just like so. That's pretty loose there. Alright. And I'm going to go around yonder flower just like so something like that give it something to uh kinda give me grayish brown something to kinda surround it a little bit I'll put some down in here like that maybe around in there now I'm gonna thin this out thin out my brush tip like so and with this I'll pull whatever type of leaf shape I want out of that just like so and you can just play around go in whatever direction you feel you must you while well, you want to go just getting some more paint I wanna get that a little bit better have it come to a point okay don't be shy about filling your um going over your over your um over your previous work get a little more shampoo loosen it up a little bring it to a chisel edge like so all right come back up here and we'll give some danglers uh, right around here have it just Make sure I get a point out of that. And maybe out of here. I'll put one here. I'll have one swing out that way. Out this way like that. I'm running out of shampoo. But that's okay. I'm getting a bit. Putting it right into the paint. Some more. Let's come back up again. And let's have maybe some long danglers coming that way. Something like that and have some floating out that way all right that's all I'm doing so you got like a little ring a little row of leaves and, and whatnot let's take some dark green put it in there and let's get some more of that shampoo let's loosen that green up a little bit it's mixing in with the, the dark uh, brownish color bring it back up to a chisel let's add some of this in there um, maybe, mm, maybe some coming up and around and over like that. Maybe some coming over here like this. Same type of plants or leaves. Just in, in spots. So I'm just really just playing around. Just showing you just examples here and there. All right. So it looks like a very dirty sunflower right now, but that's okay. We're about to make some of that stand right out. Let's get some yellow. Let's get some white. Let's put that in there, brighten that right up. Did not clean the brush. Get a little bit of this 
shampoo, put it right in there, stir it right in. Okay. Let's get some bright leaves in there. Uh, let's have uh, let's have a bright one that's out and just come on out some big ones right there. Have one there. Let's have one coming right over this dude right over there. Let's have one come out here, real thick like, and it comes thin up here, like that. All right. Let's go back get some more white. I want to brighten it up. Just like so. Get some more of the shampoo. I'm running out of the shampoo. But I'll just get some more. If warranted. Let's put some petals in a couple of these guys. Big ones. And press. Make it disappear in there. Do the same thing on this side. Make it just disappear. Okay. Let's put one right out here. And obviously the center vein comes out like that. That's one down. Let's go on the other side. Everything comes to a point, comes right there. But I'm just showing you as an example, so I'm going a little quickly here. And like so. Okay, dokie. I got one more left. Let's swing back around here. Boy, I hope you guys don't 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 uh prefer this type of filming. This would be kind of awkward. But if you do, if you can understand this and see me uh, zipping around here, then maybe we don't have to do it this way. We'll see. All depends on what you let me know. Something like that. And a little vein there. So let's pull back a little bit. And that's what we are working with. Okay. I say it's just an example. Let's wash this. I'll put it right here in this little rack here. Wash it pretty good. Okay. I'll put it in the bigger one over here. And just wash it off. There. Rub it. Get the uh, extra water out. Alright. Let's work with Mr. Blue Flower. I kind of like that deep blue. So we're going to work with... Well, let me, let me do something right now. Let's get some more of this stuff because I ran out and we're gonna pour a little bit in there like so you don't need too much all right now with this deep ultramarine blue let's pick a spot eh, right around here let's get some of that ocean in there break that up a little bit get some more of the blue put it right in there let me get my shadow out of there get some more of this just a little dab of do you put it right in there like so Okay, get some more. The reason why I'm getting so much of the blue, because this is going to be the base color for this guy. Kind of deep color here. Um, let's have us go outward, like so. Have it go outward. If it goes into the leaves, so what? Go back down. Let's get some more. Come back up. Have it go round and out. It's okay. It's the base color. Let's get some more of this blue. Some more of this stuff. I'll put a great bit in there. Loosen it up. That's all I'm doing. Stirring it around. Loosening it up a little bit. It's going back up here. And we're going to do some more. Just like that. Have it come right on out there. It's okay. If it comes right past your petals come out there make it as large as you want all right now without the shampoo let's dip into some red let's put that red red in there nice and dark like so okay let's go back up let's uh give that center up right there let's have it splay out that direction for right now just like that and we're going to come underneath. Let's have a big one right here. Almost like a smile. And we're going to fade it outward. Like so. Alright. So the majority of petals will come up out around this way. So it's going to go. The whole face of the flower is going to go in that direction. 
All right. All right. As it's right there, I got the plenty of uh, dark color here, but we won't be using much of that. So I'm rinsing off the brush. And let's make a lighter uh, color of this blue. And we'll pick a spot like right there, lighten it up a little bit with the white. Just like this. Okay? Maybe a little deeper color. So let's put that in there. Get some more uh, shampoo, put that in there. Loosen it up. And it's not going to get rid of too much of the background. The titanium white will help, help cover up um, a bit, but I don't want too much of it covered. Let's go back up here. Okay. Outside edge is, is uh, right around here. That's around, that's around the outside edge. Your petals are going to come. Uh, oh, well, let's make that dot right there where everybody's going to meet. So if you have one uh, sticking out there, maybe that far, you have a little further out like that. Uh, then you have one that's going to curve in like that and go in that way, that direction. Everybody's aiming in that direction. Okay. Press. And slowly lift up. Press. Overlap a little bit. Slowly lift up. Press. Follow that dot just like so. If you got a little streak or a mess like I just did, don't worry about all of that. Alright. And just go from this side. We're going to curve. Go in. Curve. Go in. One more. Alright. I'm going to do another one here. Kind of overlap that one. Go higher up. And put a little curve in that one. Alright. Now you see where it's going. Let's go back in here. Let's go back up. Let's put one, a little lip there, spread it out, curve, go on in there. You know what? I kind of like the way it looks. Let's have one here. Have it bow out, curve, and just disappear in there like so. Alright. So there you go. Outside rims curving around. Everybody's meeting towards that dot in there. How about these guys over here where these petals are? Let's get a little more of the blue. I don't got too much blue left. So I'm going to have to get a little more blue. Uh, where are you? Yeah. That's, you. Uh, that's not ultramarine. This is ultramarine blue. Let's stick with the same ultramarine blue. That's right over here. So I just need a touch more ultramarine blue. Let's put it right there. That should be all we need. I'm in a bad habit of not putting the caps back on. Don't do that. Okay. And also a bad habit of put and getting my wet paint mixed up in there. Just dry that off real quick. Okay, let's tap back into the ultramarine blue. Let's put it back in here with the white. Get a little more of the shampoo. Let's loosen that up a little bit. Okay, get close to the color. A little more white. Get it close to the color I had before. Okay. Now, let's go back up here. Uh, let's put... Mm, if you want to... Um, up to you. If you want to add more of the flowers in here. Just make them a little quicker. Stroke still in the same circular direction. But that's pretty much how that goes. In here, flatten at the tip, flatten one end, and come around like so. Alright, let's work with, um, I don't know what I'll do. Let's work with one petal flipped the other way. Let's do that. Let's lighten it up a second. Alright, let's go back up here. I'll do it again. Let's turn one petal. And I don't think you've seen it. I'll do it again. I'll do that stroke one more time. It's a little press, press, press and push. Curve it right on into the dark if you got to, like that. Now that's one batch. Uh, let's have him circle around a little bit. That's underneath the flower. Let's do it again. Get a little shampoo. Put it into the dark mix. Sorry. And we're gonna go. And let's do the other side. Press, come right in. Press, come right in. Press, come right in. 
just come right into it like so let's add a little more color that was more shampoo than uh, color so we're going to get the color right from the tube I got shampoo already on the brush but it's going to be a deeper color let's go with this outside guy let's give it a little push out there like that and come on in let's give it another push bring it on in push bring it on in push bring that on in flipping the brush over push bring that guy on in let's lighten this one up just a little bit so I'm going to tease out a little bit of this bright color just a tiny bit and we have a set of petals coming right here tease a bit tease a bit right there and just follow it on in press follow it in press follow it in everything's going to that imaginary dot okay uh, let's put one coming up in there like that and we're going to continue on continue on continue on and let's have this one going around in here like so have it float right on around let's pull that back you see what I'm talking about all right this is just something really quick just an example of me showing you how to uh, do it not necessarily have to do it for leaves all right it can be done for brick buildings sand waves same concept applies all right uh, let's get something a little bright uh, highlight a little yellow with the red let's come over here for a second uh, let's press down like a teardrop and you go in like that let's press down again like a teardrop go in let's do the other side press like a teardrop go in a little bigger one right here and maybe one going in one going in at the bottom let's go on the other side let's make another one over here and a big one right in there and maybe a little tiny dot like so alright let's go to our yellow We'll play around in this center part right in here. Something like that. I wish I had a little bit of white. I don't have white. We'll just keep playing around with the yellow. Something like that. And maybe you want to highlight a couple of them. Like, like so. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I might have to add a little white because I want to me being a stickler and me wanting to really show it to you correctly I'll put a little tab of white right there I would rather run out while I'm painting than to have too much when I'm finished so that's just me all right let's play around a little bit of just the tiniest bit of white let's put that streak of red in that white let's go back up here and we're going to do the same thing. Press. Come on down in there. And maybe a couple of them in here. So we make a second group of petals. A little bit lighter than the other ones. Something like that. Now let's do another one. Darker red. I might slap a little blue in there. Let's put another one. And we'll put it right on top. Like a big old teardrop right in there. And we're going to do another one right there. Go in a circle. Like so. Turn our brush around. Something like that. Alright. Now that we got white. Get a little yellow. A little bit of white. Mix it in there. Sorry. And let's use the corner brush. We'll tap a couple of bright little stamens in there like that. Alright. Uh, we'll have one hidden up here. Just have one just hiding away a little bit right in there. Something like that. Uh, let's put a lonely guy right up in here like so. Just like that. Alright, let's pull back. It's not too bad, right? I'm just playing around. I'm getting toward the end of the video here. You, hear, you, you can hear a lot of notifications, people asking me questions, and all that good stuff. 
I know I should have put it on silent, but you know, sue me. All right, we're going on a final leg here. I've always got to put a bud in here somewhere. Let's dip in to Mr. Lotion. All right. I think I want a, um, let's put a nice yellow bud in there. So let's get some of this yellow. Dip into the lotion right here. Make it a nice yellow. I get a little white. Put that white in there. So I got a nice bright bud using most of the paint. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Rolling the paint around. Dip into the green, just the tip, like that. So it's going to look like this. Get it in focus here. There, like that. See that? Okay. Let's put one. Let's have one come in front of the flower. Let's come down. So, ready and go. Come down. Put one right there. I think we still have a little green left. Come down. Come down a little further. Come on down. Put one right there. Like so. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's make it red this time. Dipping into the red, get a little lotion, and dip it into that red in there. I want to show you real quick. Into the red, a little bit of green, there should be enough green, so it looks like that. So you guys can try this out. Let's put it, let's put one stubborn one. Have one come all around, around, all the way down, right there. Okay, let's get a little more green. That's a lot of green, but that's okay. We're nearing the final end of this. Let's come down over that petal. Put one right, nice side one right there. Let's step back. And there you go. Let's put some yellow stuff in there, or maybe red. How about red? We'll do the last one in red. Just cleaning off my little brush. Cleaning off again. Make sure you get all the paint off. Let's put him back in there let's get one of these guys something like this something a little beat up a little raggedy a little frightening looking let's put the remaining bit of the yellow a little bit of white splay out the brush a little bit look something like that let's take this brush follow it right up here and I don't want to get rid of all the dark and let's put a little things in there like that Like so. Let's pull back. And that's what she looks like, okay? But that's how All I right. fix my paint. Um, well, the camera was getting a little warm, so I had to switch to this camera. But that's how I get it done. My uh, painting supply box looks a little bit like this now. But that's alright. I'll lift it up and get rid of it. And, you know, that's it. Okay. So I hope you like this little YouTube video. And, um,. Uh, showed you how I do it. I'll probably just chuck this freaking thing. But there's what it looks like. All right. I'll show it to you. That's what she looks like. Um, just an example of what I do and how I do it. It doesn't apply. Have to apply to this. It can apply to portraits, um, landscapes, seascapes. It's just a technique that I'm showing you and how I do it, and how it works for me. Um, you might get some that disagree, that's fine. Um, they get a little cautious, but that's fine. But it's worked for me and never cracked. I got paintings that's been, I had over here over a year. Um, no cracks, nothing. Um, no fading either. All right, had many extreme cold, extreme heat. So it seems to work well for me. But it's really what works well for yourself or what you're comfortable with. Um, just experiment, keep playing with it. You'll get the uh, the process down and you'll get what works for you to accomplish the effects that you need in your painting. With all of that said, my name is Anthony Gray. This is Gray Scale. Um, hope you learned something. Please let me hear your reviews and your comments down below. Um, this is the YouTube uh, video, so uh, let, me, uh, let me hear what you got to say, good, bad, or indifferent. All right. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.